Hey everybody, back opening addict. So, part of running a channel like this, of course, is that uh, you know you, you you love you love opening product. So then you open up a product and you're trying to get the videos posted and you can't post too many in a day, but at the same time I want to crack packs. And sometimes you get a little, you know, uh, behind in being able to post content. But then you have stuff that comes up, so you want to make a video that you end up then you want to post sooner rather than later. So, you know, then you push back some other stuff and eventually you end up posting a video that's like three months old and everything you said in it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, or it's old or whatever. And people are like, why are you opening that? It's like, well, I did a long time ago. <clears throat> you're just watching it now. Um, I don't even know what I said in it. Sorry. But uh, for those that, like, in, in different MTG YouTube circles, this is Guy Paws Brown. Um, he also cracks packs and, and has conversation and such like that. And he does his uh, Hump Day Wednesday, where he does a, a video and uh, does, a, does a live stream. And his, his channel is a little different than mine. Um, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm all about cracking as much product as I can possibly manage. Uh, it's very much a mine. My, his is... Very much based around community, the entire community of the Magic the Gathering, especially inside the YouTube community. He has a Discord channel. He has all that stuff. And honestly, he loves this game more than almost anybody else I've seen on YouTube. And that is worth something. You know, that, that is, it's a, it's a certain feeling that somebody is that passionate about this game. Um, and it's refreshing to watch. If you have not checked out his channel... Please, uh, please check him out. In fact, you can leave this channel right now. That's cool. Go check him out and then come back and watch the rest of this video. That's awesome. But he, uh, you know, he, he runs giveaways and, and, uh, he ran a giveaway on comments left on a video and I, I was not trying to, uh, enter and I had actually no idea. Uh, so that wasn't an intention. And then he told me I won and I'm like, wait, what now? What did I win? Wait, what? Huh? And then I'm like, no, 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 I don't need anything. No, don't, please don't. And I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? Yes, because I'm going to call you out and I'm going to say thank you on my channel to your channel. Appreciate it. Pause. So if you're not familiar. Stay positive. Now, pause did an awesome job sealing this envelope to make sure that the, uh, the automated sorting machine doesn't destroy it, which as you can see, um, they do sometimes. So he taped everything shut, so give me a moment here. <laughs> Actually, I could have just got scissors and cut the bottom of it. That would have been smart, but I didn't do that pre-video, so let me kind of get around the tape here. Honestly, that is the right way to do this. So, Okay, hold on. Hold on. Opening, opening, opening. All right, pause. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait a minute. POA, thanks for supporting my channel. And spending time at the casa. It's kind of what he calls his uh, live streams. Is hanging out at the casa, obviously his house. So there's some cards here and a top loader. Yeah, let me take that off. Okay. All right. So what do we got here? A couple cards and a top loader. All right. So we got what three cards? Looks like. Jeez, four. Okay. So we'll flip this over since I already kind of saw the first card. So we got Blue Sun's Zenith from the uh, Mystical Archives Mythic. Pretty cool. Double Major, my favorite spec from the set that hasn't yet gone anywhere. Hasn't yet. I still swear by it. I still swear by this card. Okay. Urza's Rage. Sometimes you just got to display a little rage. Right, Urza? Right. And a signed island from Paws himself. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I'm going to put the, I'm gonna put the double uh, major on top here because that is still my... <clears throat> I, I still think that card's going to go somewhere. I still think it's a beast. I think uh, people haven't broke it yet, and I think that's that's what's going on here. All right. I want to crack a box of Modern Horizons 2 Collectors. So I'm going to do that now. Let's just get right to it. Prices on these have come down, which is awesome. 
Obviously, I did a couple boxes for uh, with my uh, patrons, which we did kind of box breaks. And, you know, uh, I like that everybody kind of got something out of it. Um, except for one, but he did really well in the previous one, so I don't feel as bad. He did really well, I think, on the last one, on the first one. And so, yeah, it, it, this one he didn't do as well. Um, but that, that can happen, right? I mean, uh, one, so I opened two packs for myself in one of the videos. Obviously, one of the packs was uh, of mine was pretty busted. It's a pretty bad pack. So you get the four uncommons, four commons, sorry, two uncommons of just the traditional pack varieties. You get to the etched land, and we're going to start this off with a Marsh Flats extended art. Good start. Good start. Obviously, price on it's come down a lot. I think that thing's down to like twenty bucks right now, but who cares? It's still awesome. It's still Still a $20 card. It's not cheap. Okay, Floodhound. So we get into then the... Sky Whoa! My God! Yes! Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> this is the card I was after. One of the two cards I was after. I'm really happy to pull this right now. So that is the Borderless Kabbalah Coffers. I was... I mean, I'm not going to look at Gift Horse in the mouth and say, well, why can't it be in foil? Yes. My, that thought did cross my mind, but I'm ecstatic just to get the regular version. That is awesome. That, like, that artwork is so cool looking. This is such a cool looking card. It, it's like the coolest version of what is an awesome card. Awesome. First Mythic. Okay. Glimmer Baron with that. Oh, am I going to be able to focus or not? There we go. That face. Oh, am I too close? I am too close. Zoom. Okay. I'm sorry, folks. I'm going I'm to stop messing around here. There we go. Okay. Soul Snare. Arrow Miba. Then we got the Soul slow talisman in the uh old bordered foil etched and profane tutor okay that's not too shabby in the old bordered foil okay that's not bad it's not bad at all all right so let's get in the pack two here Archfiend of Sorrows, Hunting Pack, Island, Zabaz, the Glimmer Wasp. I know people are starting to kind of build modular decks with him. I don't know if those are still really doing anything. Okay, Arcbound Shikari, Priest of Felrights in the um, Sketch, World Weary, another card you get four of per box. Underworld Hermit, Undead Augur. Okay. Vindicate, okay. Vindicate in the uh, etched foily. And Gaia Drone Dehada. Um, yes, this is a card that has uh, dropped dramatically. I think you can even get the traditional uh, version of Gaia Drone for like under a buck now. So it is a card that has dropped. It's still strong. I just, nobody has really put it to dynamite use yet. So nobody's really after it at the moment. But can't fault how the card looks. Like, the Borderless Foil is an awesome-looking card. No question about that. She just looks like she's about to kill everybody. Okay, Patrick Gnomes. Playing Suspend with the Extended Kitchen Imp. Whoa, sweet. Borderless Solitude. That is cool. I actually had not pulled one of those yet. Okay, Blacksmith Skill. Oops, and we all of a sudden can't focus. Okay. Gargadon. Bone Shredder. All right, so we're going to get into the meat after this. Goblin Bombardment. That's not the meat we're talking about here. And... Peru, the Volatile, Old Border Foil. Okay. So that's, you know, if it wasn't for the Solitude, that would be what we call a busted pack. But Solitude is just like, nah, you're good, bro. You're good. I'm here. I'm here to, to make sure I swords to plowshare it up. Oh, did you want to flicker me? Cool. Let's swords to plowshare it up again. Yabamaya. Okay, good start on the rares. 
in the extended art. Lazotep Chancellor, Rise and Shine. Talisman of Curiosity in the Old Bordered Foil, which is pretty sweet. Okay, Blacksmith Skill. Glimmer Bear. Sword of Sinew and Steel, okay, in the uh, etched foil. It's pretty cool. That is officially a mythic. And then we've got the Borderless Foil Counterspell, which is also pretty freaking sweet. But yeah, sometimes there's just not enough time in the world to post all the videos I want and crack all the product I want to crack. It's, uh, it's a challenge, right? It's a challenge. I need to give people a chance to actually watch videos and not just bury them under new videos. Um, so that's, that's, the, that's sometimes the hard part about this. I know, it sounds kind of silly, right? That, that's hard. <laughs> Chitter spitter. Okay. World Weary again for the umpteenth time. And we got Urza Saga sketch. Very good. Ephemerate in the old bordered foil, which is pretty cool. Let's ephemerate it up with some solitude. Alright, let's tip Chancellor. Patchwork Nomies. Ave. Don't care. And Dam in the extended art foil. That's still a, still a pretty cool card. Pretty, you know, obviously the price isn't where it was, but it also hasn't died. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay, last pack of that side of the box here. Obviously I'm going a little slower in this video. I guess you can say I'm enjoying it. Sometimes I don't do that. And I, okay, Arid Mesa extended art for our second fetch land. Road and Ruin, Fury, wow, wow, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Okay, another Mythic, Gargadon, you know, when you open these, you tend to get a lot of Mythics, or you tend to get a lot of fetch lands. <clears throat> so, and Chainer, and Gaedrone in the Sketch. Foil. I guess this set really wanted to make sure I had plenty of copies for her, for this box. Alright, let's get into, I'm just going to kind of do a little shift around because that, that mythic uh, <laughs> line is getting a little long here. <laughs> you know, you tend to expect maybe seven or eight, but we still got six packs to go. <laughs> Definitely not complaining on that front. All right. Forest. Glimpse of Tomorrow. Extended art. Lens Flare. Dermotaxi Sketch. Oops. Well, at least it was not uh, <clears throat> focusing on... Uh, oop. Okay. Let me, let me just... Auto, let, me, let me just uh, lock the focus for a second here. Okay. Auto Harvest. And we got the etched... Talisman of Conviction, Squirrel Mob, and Asmora Nomardic, Adesti uh, Asmora Nomardic Adestina Koldakar in the Foil Extended Art. Trying to get a little better at that. It's definitely a challenge to say that name. Most don't try, and I know I didn't. I got tired of not trying. I was just like, you know what? Say the name. You can do this. Okay, let me try to see if the focus will stay now. Karth the Lion extended. Abundant Harvest. Shardless Agent, Borderless, pretty sweet. In fact, you can go over there. Undead Augur in the Old Border Foil. Faithless Salvaging. Okay, Mog Salvage now. Gonna get to the last two. Scalding Tarn, look at you in all of your foil etched glory in your old border. Okay, okay, third fetch, and then uh, then an ave, because I, I think I have now a playset of the old border foil. <clears throat> but hey, Scalding Tarn just kind of popping in there. Nice, not bad at all. 
Okay, C. Drake, Mono Skellion, Island, the Slow Talisman in the Extended, Jade Avenger, Dress Down, Sweet Card, no value. Lava Belly Sliver. Been a long time since I've seen that. Okay. Marble Gargoyle. Then we're going to get to another common. Then we're going to get to an un. Oh, sorry. Peru the Volatile. For second one in the box, unfortunately, this time etched. And Obsidian Charmaw. Okay. In the Sketch Foil. Busted pack there. But you do have two to four of those per box. Minimum two. Minimum two. Lucid Dream, Spreading Insurrection, Planes, Rashad in Dock Hand, Sudden Edict, The Archon of Cruelty, okay. Oh, we actually did go like three packs without getting a Mythic, huh. After I moved everything. Okay, step through, Brainstone, all right, so now we're gonna get into, oh, sorry, yet another Uncommon. That's right, first you've got the Foil one, then you've got the Glimpse of Tomorrow, Old Bordered, Etched, and Chitter Splitter. Well, disappointing pack there. Disappointing pack. All right, two packs left, everybody. I would say overall we're doing all right, right? This box is not a bust. It's it's also not a it's not an A-plus box. It's just uh, it's doing all right. We have two packs left, though, to, to move from all right to, to good territory. And, you know, in the end, all right, still, it's still fine. It's not a bad box. Sanctum Weaver, okay, that helps. Gargadon. Obsidian Sharma again. Faithless Salvaging. Mind Collapse. Ornithopter of Paradise in the etched. Is this after this? Is this another rare? Territorial Kavu in the foil etched. And for the last card of the pack... Ice Fang Quaddle in the Old Bordered Foil. Oh, that just brings me back to a simpler time when these things were in the pre-sale for 50 bucks. You know, I kind of made fun of that. And I said, this is a $10, I think I said $15 card at most, but I said, it's going to drop. And people were like arguing with me. Like, no, it's not. Look at how expensive the, the regular version of it is in foil. I'm like, yeah, but you, do you know how many collector boxes are going to be opened? Do you, do, are you aware how many of these there's going to be out there? <laughs> there's going to be more of these out there than there's going to be the, the foil version from Modern Horizons 1. And you know what? Oh, freaking right. <clears throat> okay, last pack. All right, Goblin Trap Runner, Vectus Gloves. Oops, sorry, we're getting some focus issues again. Mountain. Nettle Cyst Extended Art, okay. Late to Dinner. Savalin of Sea and Sky showing up with the borderless treatment. Look at that. Not bad. Okay, Phantasmal Dreadmaw. Mind Collapse. Okay, so now we're going to get into the foil etched uh, uncommon or common, right? Yes, so Prismatic Ending. Okay, our first really strong uncommon of the box. And now we're going to get into a rare or mythic etched. Dolphy Voidwalker, okay, in the um, Old Bordered. And for the last card, General Ferris Rockerick. That's, what's funny about that is that's actually the first time I've gotten this in the, uh, in the sketch uh, treatments. Actually, I think, yeah, I think that's actually my first sketch, let alone foil sketch version of that. Obviously not a hit, but... That is, that's the box. That's everything. That's, uh, that's all she wrote right there. Not too shabby. We did uh, really well in the Mythics. At least we got uh, three fetch lands, including the Scalding Tarn. And we did okay in the Rares. You know, this is a pretty... Oops. <laughs> Perhaps if I did that, that would help a lot. Um, this was a pretty, you know, pretty standard Modern Horizons 2 collector's opening. Uh, thank you all for watching. Big thanks to uh, out to Paws Brown. Um, Lord knows that double major is going to be put to... Put to good use here and appreciate the island. That's I also appreciate, especially being the showcase uh, M21 lands, which are really cool. So thank you, sir, and thank you to everybody for watching. Until next time, bye.